and Eddie for a morning walk. Chelsea's helping. You're such a big help. Uh, we've got two leashes going. It's super duper windy. I know. Oh no. Chelsea needed some shades, so we had to get them out of the truck. I hand them to her, and what does she do? Puts them on upside down. That's how she rolls, right? Yeah. <laughs> Stylish. <laughs> You're so funny. Chelsea found herself a shaker weed. There's a tree in our neighbor's yard that has these little shaker things on them. I don't know what they're called. But you open them up and there's little like seeds inside. She loves to find them and peel them apart and pick out the seeds and shake them. So we had to come home and sit down and pull it apart, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it! Ha ha! Ha ha! Alex has joined us. It's such a nice day. It's just really warm. I thought about going and putting some shorts on. It's so warm. So she's riding the trike and Chelsea wanted to go in the stroller. So I got Chelsea in the stroller. Alex finished her school and she decided to come Audi. ride bikes. Ride bikes. So yesterday was Ninja Warrior, today's like parkour. Chelsea's <laughs> jumping and rolling. <laughs> Whoa, my gosh. Show everybody your moves, girl. Woo. Whoa. Wow. Oh my goodness. Woo. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's the mail. The girls are picking pretty flowers. Ooh. I pretty tall, yeah, here. Very nice, uh -oh. Alex. Uh oh, did you drop them? No. <laughs> They're blowing out of your hand. The wind is so strong today. So pretty. Merry Christmas. <laughs> More like Take Happy it. Easter. Easter's oh, coming. Take it. Take it. Take Thank it. you. There's my flowers from Alex. So pretty. So you guys, wardrobe change. <laughs> the last clip I showed, Chelsea, Alex, and I were out picking flowers. Something happened, I, Chelsea was right next to me. I looked down and I see something on her shoe. It was a fire ant, so I swatted it away. It and then, it hurt, I know. It's actually And see right here. then I saw more and I'm like swatting them away and then she starts crying. Are you showing us your wounds? She starts crying, and so I pretty much figured out that she was covered in them. So I grab her and run towards the porch, and I'm ripping her clothes off as I go because I'm trying to get oh, everything off clothes. of her. Oh, my clothes. You have more clothes on. We changed you. So I knew the quickest way to get them off of her was to strip her down. Well, by then, because I had to pick her up to carry her to the porch, they got all over me. So then I'm getting bit as I'm like trying to get them off of her, which I was more concerned with getting them off of her than me getting bit. So Chelsea <laughs> was naked on the front porch while mommy was getting the ants off of her. She did get some bites. Um, she's got about four on her, on her feet and then they managed to like crawl up her pants and she's got some like on her back too. And then even after she, we were like trying to get them all off. Yeah, even after we were trying to get them all off, we were still finding them in places. So um, because I had gotten some on me, I went into the garage and I took all my clothes off too because I didn't want to bring any in the house. It was awful. And then Alex only got a couple on her somehow. So she was outside, you know, picked them off and she's fine. But we all got bit up, didn't we? Yeah. Fire ants. Three points. What more missing? Yeah, mommy, Alex, and Chelsea, zero points. But let's see. She honestly, it could have been a lot worse. So mommy's put some itchy medicine on her. <laughs> I think she's still got the itchies because, like, you know how after it happens, you still feel like you got stuff on you? Because I know I'm like still scratching just thinking about it. You okay? Yeah. That was not fun. She keeps talking about it, about what happened. I got ants and mommy took my clothes off. <laughs> my goodness. Clothes. Yep, we all had to change our clothes. What are we playing? Mushrooms. <laughs> We're playing like squish. 
We're playing with Nash. I got I got an airplane. You got an airplane. Got an airplane. Super sticky. Look at Olaf's stick. I bet on and Olaf stick together. Oh no. Oh no. Olaf's like a giant booger. He's super <laughs> sticky. Anna's really not that sticky. Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> yeah, I will open more spots. Squish, squish, squish. Didn't hear the water in it. That one's like super watery and squishy. It's time for the question of the day. And today is Would You Rather Wednesday? That wasn't as good of a one. <laughs> Would you rather Wednesday? Yeah, that was better. Would you rather have a pebble sewn into the bottom of your left foot? So like whenever you walk around, you would feel that pebble in your foot. Or have, would you rather have a sesame seed wedged in between your top front teeth? So you'd always have that sesame seed there. Sesame seed. I get really? the littlest thing in my shoe or anything and I freak. I know. I can't, couldn't do that. That I would probably not even notice after a while. But every time you take a step, you're going to notice. Mm-hmm. That's true. And then you're lopsided, too, because you have this... It's not a rock. It? It's not a boulder. It's a, it's a little, little, a little pebble. Oh. Just enough to notice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you'd walk funny, too, because you'd feel it in there, and you'd be, like, waddling around everywhere. <laughs> so what's your answer? Mine's a sesame seed, too. With braces on, it's kind. Of, it's not the same thing, but it's like there's something on your teeth, and you can feel it, but you get used to it after a while. Yeah. And like that's like whenever I get something in my shoe, I can't. I like instantly take off my shoe and see what's in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way, but this is really tough because I hate having food stuck in my teeth. Like every time I eat, I always have to check my teeth to make sure there's not something stuck in there. I would think. You could get like, you know those cushions for like warts and stuff for your feet? No, I would think you could though. get one of those. And I could get some dental floss and get that seat out. No, well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying take it out, uh, like take out the pebble. I'm saying put one of those little pads on it and then it probably wouldn't Cheater. hurt so much when you walk. I don't know, I'm trying to think of ways Cheater. to make it work. I guess if I couldn't do anything, I would have to do the sesame seed in my teeth, even though it drives me crazy even thinking about it. You would get I used can't to it. imagine. Would you want metal in your teeth right now? No, but I had it in my See? teeth for three years. Yeah, but you get used to it. If you had a sesame seed for, in your mouth for three years, you would be used to it. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you'd get used to it a lot easier than having to walk around with a little pebble because I'm the same as them. Like, my socks have to be on the right way, and if it doesn't feel right, I gotta take my shoe off and I gotta fix it. If I get anything in my shoe, it would drive me crazy. So, oh, we want to know from you guys, would you rather have a pebble sewn into the bottom of your left foot or have a sesame seed wedged in between your top front teeth? Leave it in the comments below. It's okay, mommy doesn't have the drops anymore. <laughs> He's not going to trust you ever again. No, like, uh, you know, daddy. daddy will protect you. So yesterday when we took him to, <laughs> when I took him to the vet, the vet put the drops in his eyes. Last night I put him in and we showed you guys that. This morning his eyes cleared up much better than they were. They're not even blind they, enough. Well, yeah. just now, <laughs> it's like I'm out of here. Just <laughs> now I did them again, and they did look a tiny bit pink, but they're much, much better. He Let's, just keeps wandering. Going. He a little faster. Come here. But you know what I did? We have these little Come treats, here. like they're really little, so I had two of them in my hand, and he could smell them. He knew I had them. And I did one drop in one eye, gave him a treat. A drop in the other eye gave him a treat and it, it worked but he was kind of still like I know what you're up to like I got this figured out I don't know if we can even see his eyes that's why I came in here see, they look so much better than yesterday they're still a little pink but yesterday they were bright red but he still kind of freaks out a little when I drop him in which I would too I mean it's kind of scary having eye drops put run, in run hide well, he's like, I know it's over with now. <laughs> but so far, they're looking better, and he's being good. But he also knows I have treats, so that's why he's being good. 